Tim W. Rago here, games, movies, and vlogs, how the hell is everybody? Now for today's video, um, this was originally going to be an unboxing, but uh, yeah, I ended up uh, deleting all that footage and this um, this is going to be a figure review. Um, I got two new figures uh, from Amazon yesterday. So yeah, I want to get better at like doing my uh, figure review videos, I mean you guys have seen you know, my Alien and Predator videos, my NECA Kong figure, and my uh, Pacific Rim figure, the my Indoraptor, and the Tiger Stripe, the Lost World Raptor, and pretty much all my other unboxings, you know, and for this one too. But yeah, I want to get better at doing that and not ramble so much, so yeah, um, this is going to be just a uh, figure review here. Okay, so... When it comes to uh, getting kaiju figures, um, the best ones, at least in my opinion, are SH Monster Arts because the whole entire figure has an incredible range of movement and as you can see here on Godzilla 2014, you can just see all the, the whole body moves and that's why they're, it, um, that's why it's the best brand to go. I mean, yeah, NECA is cool. And it has a lot of movement, but SH is so much better. And the two new figures that I'm going to be reviewing are SH Monster Arts. Um, starting off, here we have uh, Kong from... Let me just uh, get him... Well, talk about that. Here we got Kong from Godzilla vs. Kong here. Um, now, to start off with this... The range of movement on this thing is solid. I love this. It just like Godzilla 2014, it has there's a lot of movement going on here, like especially in the wrist area, the arms, and of course, look at the legs. Look at the legs have a lot of movement. The ankles move, the uh, knees move. The only weird thing that I have with this is the back is this part right here the torso it would have been it i know they try to give it like a lot of movement but i don't know why this is like so i don't know this is just a little off for me i don't know it should have been a little more solid like this should not have been a, a piece all by itself here so that's one con I have with this is the middle is the middle torso here should not have been one piece it should have been uh, more tightly put in there I guess I don't know that part just looks a little off and also like the NECA Kong figure um, this thing has interchangeable uh, hands as well as an interchangeable head now the head um, that's my my other con with this is the fact that the mouth doesn't close on here um, it's the same I had with the NECA Kong, the other head doesn't close, or the other, the mouth on the other head doesn't close. So, yeah, those are like my two main cons with the, with this figure is um, the weird torso piece, the weird torso piece, and the fact that the head doesn't, the mouth on the other head doesn't close. The interchangeable hands and feet, I do like that actually. I think, uh, I don't know who took inspiration from who. I don't know if the NECA version took inspiration from this. I think SH Monster Arts took inspiration from that because I think that one came out before this, I believe. So yeah, um, that part's actually cool. That's a big plus. Um, now, the detail on the fur is really solid on here. Um, I will say that the... Uh, it, it is solid, it kind of pops out, but um, I would say that the NECA Kong detail on the hair pops out a little, pops out a little bit more. It, it's like in between, my, SH Monster Arts, it's like in between Playmates and NECA. Like, it's really detailed, but it still could have been just a little better. But overall, um, this figure does look pretty cool. I would, this, um, SH Monster Arts Kong gets a, this gets an 8 out of 10 for me because, you know, the detail's great, but it could have been better. Um, torso part, really weird, and the, 
mouth on the second head doesn't shut but the one other plus that I gotta give is the prop they have the axe which is amazing and it looks actually doesn't look half bad I love how on the dorsal fin on the Godzilla dorsal fin on the blade I don't know if y'all can see that but you see the little grooves I love this detail where they got like the little grooves in the dorsal fin where for those of you who have seen the MonsterVerse Godzilla movies those grooves are the parts of his dorsal fins that light up before he shoots his atomic breath so I love that little attention to detail right there so yeah all in all um, SH Monster Arts uh, Kong uh, 2021 gets a solid 8 out of 10 for me so now on to the next one all right so a while back um, well, back in early 2021, or I can't remember when in 2021 it came out. I came out after, no, okay, I say it was mid-2021. Um, everyone remembers on Netflix when Godzilla Singular Point dropped to, I would say, mixed, uh, mixed results, um, mixed reactions, really. I mean, there was a lot of talk on physics in that show there's a lot of a lot more science jargon than usual when it comes to Godzilla but overall I enjoyed the show you know for what it was the uh, backstories they gave the monsters were very interesting actually and the fact that they were all like they come from the same place and they're not all like they're they're, they're they are portrayed as regular animals which I really do like and you guys all remember uh, this you probably see in that uh, when I was talking about uh, Kong there um, when I did my review for the Bandai Godzilla Ultima uh, and I had my nitpicks with it but overall like I said this was a actually pretty saw pretty decent figure here um, but Godzilla Ultima is the focus of this next bit because oh my god here just uh, give me a sec before I do a uh, big reveal we have the SH Monster Arts Godzilla Ultima and holy shit this thing wow just look at how massive this thing just his tail his tail man look at this I mm, okay when I saw the pictures of this on Amazon I did not think his tail was gonna be this long just look at this this thing is longer than his body and I can really appreciate this because what do you call it? because in the show it's in the show it's like that and also I said that the, with the Bandai except with the Bandai version that his dorsal plates uh, the coloring on his dorsal fins were very off it didn't have where the uh, where the veins are right here they're not painted they weren't painted right but on here they're painted correct very correctly and they're very correctly that was stupid um they're the painting is very accurate and also I love the little grooves they give on the dorsal fins right here the amount of detail on this thing on the dorsal plates is great the coloring is more show accurate and I think the reason why his tail this thing's tail is this this long is this massive is because in the show when he goes Godzilla we all know like for those of you who have seen singular point um Godzilla goes through like the different forms and there's he's like two different sizes when he first becomes Ultima um, he's 45 meters I think he's like 45 meters tall I believe so his tail is like this about like this long and then when he gets to 100 meters his tail becomes more like this so they took uh, the 45 meter look which is okay I can I can see that but um, it, but I just think this is and honestly I think this is better than Kong and don't start saying in the comments that 
you know, I'm only saying that this is better than Kong because, you know, just because I'm a Godzilla fan and that, you know, I'm that's that I'm being toxic towards Kong. No, I'm not. I am always going to be Team Godzilla, but um, I do like Kong as well. If I didn't have all of Kong's movies, I would not be a Kong fan. If I didn't have that or the NECA Kong, I wouldn't be a Kong fan. So, it's just my opinion, so shut up. But yeah, um, one thing I do have to say, the main coloring, I think... Godzilla Ultima was black in color. I believe so, anyway. I think he was, now really thinking about the show. But, uh, over, and, but, oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, let's talk about the, let's talk about his movement here. So, okay, so the wrist moves, the wrists, uh, the hands move, arms move, the shoulder, wow, look at that. Just the range of movement on his, on his arms is amazing and then you got him looking going this way going this way the head um okay so on this head the upper jaw okay the mouth open okay the mouth opens up i like oh that's cool the upper jaw and the lower jaw they both open up okay and you can uh shut both of them that's cool and then when it comes to his legs of course you got this basic part this part moves and then his knee hit the middle of his leg moves and then you've got his feet moving okay that's cool now let's try his tail because i know on uh the shg14 uh, here the tail has is very flexible and has very lifelike mo uh life very lifelike movement now let's try uh let's try ultima here let's see if this oh wow okay so it's very flexible, I like that, but it moves, okay, wow, okay, Ta the tail is very flexible here, but his hand fell off, so, but, okay, his, uh, left, his left hand fell off, let me just get his, let me get his hand, let me get his hand back on, let me just get his hand back on here, sorry, okay, so, this tail is very flexible, but it moves a little stiff, the it's a little stiff which is really weird i guess that's because of how many parts are on this thing i guess it's because of how many moving parts there are but it, it's not as free moving as uh g2014 here so as an ex as a comparison let me uh grab uh g14 i think it's because g14 is a oh sorry hit the camera i didn't mean to do that but, okay, here's G14. As a comparison here, look. See, look how much more uh, free, look how much more the tail moves on G14. See what I mean? So it kind of, I guess it's because the tail's smaller is why. I guess that's why. But uh, Ultima here, or 45 meter Ultima, it still has a lot of movement. Just moves a little stiff, but that's because of the absolute, how just, freaking huge the tail is here so okay but i guess it, this still could have worked a little better they still could have i don't know i guess it i don't know what to say about the tail here it's like it still moves stiffly but that's because of how massive it is and also like the like kong um there's an interchangeable head now the head, I am very 50-50 with this because I can appreciate the amount of detail on this head with the uh, ridges down the ridges on the head and the detail in the mouth is insane. Like you see the rows of teeth that he has. You know, they paid attention to detail when it comes to that. And then when you look at the uh, mouth that's already attached to the head, um, you see all the rows of, you see all the rows of teeth in there. So I can appreciate that, but the my con with 45 meter Ultima is on the second head, the mouth doesn't shut, which I really wish it would have closed here. So that's my main con with this is that the head don't move, so that the mouth on the second head doesn't shut. So SH Monster Arts um, 45 meter Godzilla Ultima, this one gets a... I would probably say a 9 out of 10. Yeah, this gets a 9 out of 10 because great detail on 
everything on this figure. The skin, the skin detail pops out. The dorsal fins pop out. The range of movement on this thing. I mean, it's SH Monster Arts. The movement is just phenomenal. Um, everything about this is great. Just not a fan of the interchangeable head. So yeah, nine out of ten for this, for uh, forty-five meter Ultima here. Just got uh, got these two uh, got these two together here. Okay, so I hope you all enjoyed that. Um, please be sure to like, share, and consider subscribing. And yeah, I tried to make this video as short as possible, you know, so I'm not rambling so much. But uh, yeah, I mean, this is something I am gonna try to practice with uh, some of my videos when I do uh, figure reviews. I'm gonna try to make them shorter, you know, and not make them drag. So yeah. Um, yeah, I already said all that, and please follow me on Instagram at Lizardman2021 up there on the up on the bottom right corner of the banner here. And also for those of you who have a DeviantArt, um, please come watch me at Dimetrosaur2022. I post uh, dinosaur and kaiju fan art there. So yeah, um, and this is part of a Amazon haul that I'm gonna do. Um, this is part one because the other stuff I ordered apparently is not going to come until like July or some shit and uh, but these two came really early so uh, yeah um, I'll be on the lookout for the rest of my stuff here for uh, part two of my Amazon of my uh, Amazon haul all right so well, this is Tim W Rago and I'm gonna say peace out everybody and I'll see you all in whatever video I decide to do next.